when you think of olive oil, you think of seed oils like canola oil and soy oil. Soy is a little different, but when you think of seed oils in general, like sunflower oil, safflower oil, canola oil, uh, if you've been sort of following the re recent science, recent research, you would say, oh no, those are terrible, and, and I, I would have been right there with you. So, um, but the point of my channel is to stay abreast of cutting edge research and, and really bring you the data as, as I come to understand it and as I learn about it. And so I want to talk to you today about olive oil and seed oils like canola oil. And uh, truly, I thought canola oil was, was kind of the devil. And what's the truth? You know, are these, are these okay to consume? Is it okay to consume oils? Uh, should you be on a very low fat diet? Uh, heart disease is our number one killer. What's the interaction? So here we go. Uh, there was an interesting study that was done. Uh, it was called the Lyon study, so I'm assuming Lyon, France. And um, they gave individuals that were, that were part of the study both olive oil and canola oil. So there was two arms of the study. And they looked at high-risk individuals, so high risk for cardiovascular disease. So this was very specifically having to do with heart disease, which is our number one killer, so definitely a good thing to look at. And uh, what they found was a 50 to 75 percent reduction in cardiovascular disease in the individuals consuming both olive oil and canola oil. So olive oil and canola oil, both. I would have guessed that the olive oil would have been beneficial and the canola oil would not have been, and I would have been wrong. And that's why we look at research and, and really evaluate it. There was, um, so this is very critical because we've heard a lot of negatives about seed oils, a lot of negatives about seed oils. So there was um, a different study that just looked at saturated fat versus the seed oils, which are polyunsaturated uh, fats, and sure enough found so much benefit of the seed oils over saturated fat. Now, we know that saturated fat is not good for you, generally speaking, and it does increase your cardiovascular risk. So that wasn't surprising, but the fact that the seed oils showed benefit uh, for me really was surprising. So then it was like, okay, we, we do know there is a quality issue. And, and that's really, I think, what it comes down to is that these oils, when they're organic and you cook them at home, seem to have benefits and protective benefits against heart disease. Now, what about it's the deep fryer at the fast food restaurant and it's been deep frying food all day long? Well, not surprisingly, that does have a negative effect. And what the researchers were saying is that the other contributing factor was the fact that these, these cheap oils are often used in ultra-processed foods that are full of other chemicals, they're full of sugar, they're full of refined carbohydrates, and they're just a terrible food um, in general. They're, you don't even want to call them a food, so it, they're so toxic. But the facts are that the oil themselves, when you're taking a good quality seed oil, and you're just cooking it at home so you're not deep frying it you know 47 times and you're just using it in moderation in your cooking has benefit and this is this is some very good information to know now that doesn't mean that when you uh, are at the grocery store and you see an ultra processed food that has these oils in it that you say oh no those are good for me no because you have to look at the whole entirety of the ingredients of the food and as soon as it's processed, let alone ultra-processed, it's terrible for you and, and you want to run away. So you don't want to consume that at all. They did another study. This was the Predimed study. This is going back to 2014, so about nine years ago. But they again took a, a group that was at high risk for cardiovascular disease. And this was a nice study because they looked at olive oil versus nuts. So in other words, the, the oil itself versus the food containing the oil. And... Um, so it wasn't olive oil or olives, but it was it was olive oil or nuts, meaning the the real the whole food versus the refined, as in as in turning olives into olive oil, and again found no difference. So that in that study, it was a 30% reduction in risk of cardiovascular disease, 
in a high risk group. So 30% reduction is, is huge, let alone the 50 to 75% reduction found in the earlier study I talked about, which was olive oil and canola oil. And you know, I would have told you canola oil was the devil and, and actually I have many years ago, but, and I haven't looked at it. And, and that's what can happen is you can get kind of, um, get an opinion about something and just sort of, you know, get a, get a little narrow in, in your focus. But uh, I think it's quite fascinating. So again, it's not, you wanna, not that you wanna eat it at a restaurant, uh, but, if, but if you're consuming it at home and you're getting a good quality, uh, these seed oils don't seem to be as bad as we used to think. And as a matter of fact, they can be quite beneficial. So tell me your thoughts. Um, I'd really like to hear your opinion. These studies are, are out there. They've you know, absolutely been um, reproduced and it's, I think, quite fascinating. Yet it does t come down to quality, uh, quantity of course as well, but the quality of the oil and how you're using it and what kind of food you're consuming it in. So sauteing your vegetables versus uh, eating a fast food product, very, very different. And anything we can do that addresses reduction in cardiovascular disease, our number one killer, I think is very important to know. So if you like this information, please give, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so more people can see this information. And uh, let me know other topics you wanna hear about.